Hello. I've been a photographer for my whole working career over 50 years and I actually made my first money with photography when I was a senior in high school. Two, two girls approached me, they're getting married and you know I probably made three four hundred dollars on each wedding so that's when that started. Uh, after I graduated in summer 65 I moved on to uh, Pierce College in Woodland Hills, California and uh, I was actually an architectural design major. I already had some homes built for my plans in high school. But I really had this itch in photography, so I approached uh, the instructors at the, uh, at the newspaper photography office there, and they just started giving me photo assignments, and I, that kept rolling. And uh, 1967, uh, April of 67, I got a really cool idea, I thought, one day in the dark room and I was processing a roll of film and I just had this crazy idea. I bet you if I contacted music companies, you know, in Hollywood, which was only 15 miles away from my college, they might give me free records because I'll ask to uh, photograph and interview some of their up and coming groups. And the first one that responded to me was Electra Records because I had asked about hey, maybe I could photograph the Doors, Jim Morrison and the band. So in April of 67, they said, hey, how would you like to spend a day in the recording studio at Sunset Sound Recorders, and you can interview them and take all the pictures you want. So I ended up spending, you know, about five hours in, in a recording studio there, but I was kind of nervous. I didn't want to make noise with the, you know, the camera shutter and uh, just tried to stay out of the way because I didn't want them to throw me out. And they didn't. And so I ended up you know, getting about two rolls of film, black and white. And uh, over the years, they've really been printed out there. I mean, uh, The Doors and Warner Brothers, uh, four years ago, decided to do a 50th anniversary of Strange Days. And that's what they were recording when I was there in the studio with them. But four years ago, they contacted me and said, we'd like to use some of those photos in the 50th anniversary issue. And they ended up you know, getting five or six of my photographs to in, be included in that. And, and I, that, was a, that was fun.